David Parker wants to take back Alberta. From whom, you ask? Well, we wondered the same thing. His group, Take Back Alberta, has taken control of the United Conservative Party's board and claims to influence Alberta Premier Danielle Smith. Parker's critics say he's a religious extremist, a misogynist, and worse. So we asked him about all of it on Real Talk. While I do think that uh, the media likes to paint people with a certain brush, I would say that I'm pretty open about the stances that I've taken and the mission of Take Back Alberta. How, how would you describe how the media is painting you? Oh, I mean, they, they need a boogeyman. They need someone to tie to Danielle Smith to claim that she's being influenced by far-right extremists and anyone who's, you know, right of center at this point is a far-right extremist. I mean, they're saying that being opposed to pedophilia is now far-right extremism. What do you mean opposed to pedophilia? Do you see people supporting pedophilia somewhere that's prompted you to speak out? Well, uh, there's a movement towards calling them minor attracted persons. If you want them to leave your kids alone, you have to be the ones making the decision about how that happens. They will not leave your children alone unless you get engaged. Unless you become the people that is changing things. So I say this to, to, to end, I don't want to speak too long, but I will say this. Leave our kids alone. They are a, an ideology that has been developing over the last 20 to 30 years. Uh, it's basically communism. It's all about, you know, taking from those who have and giving to those who don't. It's about creating a grievance class of individuals who are obsessed with their own victimization as opposed to what used to be very common in Western civilization, which was focusing on merit and focusing on what you had developed as your own personal character, your own skills, your own mastery over things. We're moving away from that towards a more communist or maybe socialistic vision of the world. What, what about things like, you know, practical applications, helping kids understand their body, helping kids understand boundaries, early stage understandings of consent? In other words, when your swimming teacher touches you here, it's inappropriate. I mean, do you support that in elementary school? Oh, yeah. If it was only technical, I would 100 percent support it. But that's not what's happening. What's happening is children are, are being uh, taught whatever the particular ideology of the teacher might be. And there is curriculum being pushed more and more onto our children that is uh, ideological in nature. It's it's not doing what you're describing. I support what you're describing. What I do not support is indoctrinating elementary school children into this, uh, well, frankly, this sexual ideology that seems to be infiltrating a lot of our uh, schools and even I would say our society in general I think you're guilty of something that a lot of politicians are guilty of and that is that claiming that policy or government positions are influenced by all ideology when really everything that you're saying is is influenced by your ideology fair you just obviously believe that your ideology is is more uh, appropriate uh, to build the future of Alberta around than someone else's would you agree no I just don't think that ideology has a role in our education system. I heard that uh, the premier attended your wedding back in March. Uh, how would you describe your relationship with Danielle Smith? You say you're a supporter, but how would you describe the relationship? I would definitely call her a friend. Uh, she's been very busy lately. We haven't talked nearly as much as we did over the past couple of years, but I, I, what I would say is I have an immense amount of respect for her. Do you believe that you or Take Back Alberta as a group have influence over the decisions that the premier of this government make? I obviously advocate very loudly and publicly for the policy positions that Take Back Alberta cares about. So in that sense, absolutely. I think she's listening to that. I think if you look at the decisions that she's making, they are aligned with what the grassroots of this province want. How do you intend to influence education in Alberta? I personally think that our education system will be much better if we simply have more people involved in it. So that means we have a really terrible and apathetic population when it comes to our uh, education in this province. Barely anyone shows up for school board elections. We're not paying attention to who our trustees are, uh, even parent councils, which are voluntary, but people can show up and be involved in their children's education. Hardly anyone shows up for parents councils. So I believe, and I think that uh, most of the people at Take Back Alberta believe, that the more of us that show up and take part, volunteer, take on the responsibility of being a citizen, uh, the better things will get.
I do not believe that uh, it is a duty or the right or the role of a teacher, of a public school teacher, a private school teacher, any teacher, to teach children about sex. That is the role of parents. And I think parents are the primary uh, guardian of their children. They should be the guardian of their children, and they should be the guardian of what is going into those children's minds. So do you so think parents, that sex ed should be taken, should be removed from school curriculum? Definitely from elementary school, 100%. High school is different, but we should not be teaching children about sex in elementary school. What, what about things like you know practical applications, helping kids understand their body, helping kids understand boundaries, early stage understandings of consent. In other words, when your swimming teacher touches you here, it's inappropriate. I mean, do you support that in elementary school? Oh, yeah. If it was only technical, I would 100% support it, but that's not what's happening. What's happening is children are are being uh, taught whatever the particular ideology of the teacher might be, and there is curriculum being pushed more and more onto our children that is uh, ideological in nature. It's it's not doing what you're describing. I support what you're describing. What I do not support is indoctrinating elementary school children into this, uh, well, frankly, this sexual ideology that seems to be infiltrating a lot of our uh, schools and even, I would say, our society in general. I think you're guilty of something that a lot of politicians are guilty of, and that is that claiming that policy or government positions are influenced by all ideology when really everything that you're saying is, is influenced by your ideology. Fair? You just obviously believe that your ideology is, is more uh, appropriate uh, to build the future of Alberta around than someone else's. Would you agree? No, I just don't think that ideology has a role in our education system. When Jason Kenney famously described lunatics, his word, uh, within the United Conservative Party, did you take that personally? Do you think he was talking about you and your group? Oh, for sure he was uh, talking about me, but you'll notice he never mentioned my name. And the reason he couldn't do that is because he personally in has endorsement letters for me uh, when I applied to go to Oxford. He, uh, he has said very nice things about me. I obviously helped get him elected. So saying my actual name would discredit his claim that we were lunatics unless he believes he was elected by lunatics and uh, supported by them. But he did that in order to, I mean, this is just political theater, right? His It's his, his attempt to try to um, tarnish what is happening and make it seem like he's just a bunch of crazy people. 